All right, well, today we're just gonna go ahead and start uh, disassembling the car so we can put on the uh, turbo. And this is just uh, an update of what I'm doing. <clears throat> so, got the manifold and turbo on there, intercooler, all the parts that I need basically to start this up. Um, basically what I'm going to do is take the bumper off, the old exhaust, and just kind of put it on there, see how it fits. Uh, we're also going to route the the return line in the, and also the line that goes into the turbo to feed it. So we're going to go ahead and start that right now. See here. So right now it's kind of hot, so I'm gonna let it vent for a little bit. <clears throat> so this is the bracket that I made for the intercooler. So I already had it on there, and it's just gonna sit here. We're actually gonna take the shield off, and yeah, we're just gonna go from there. I'm gonna make some quick updates as I as I make progress. So, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and start that right now. Alright, I got the uh, MR2 on jack stands and basically I'm just going to go ahead and take this off. Uh, see how we're going to do this. You just kind of pull on both sides. <clears throat> there you go. So this should come off. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and do it with with two hands. So that's uh, pretty much it. It's very easy to take the bumper off. Uh, so we're gonna take these bars off. Just a couple of bolts. You can see right there, then this, and then we're going to take the exhaust off, then the main cat, and the headers. So we're going to Walmart. So we're going to get some oil for the turbo MR2. How much and, do you need? Did you um, calculate yet? Nah, let's just go buy like one of those four quart ones, like the big ones. Five quart. Five quart, yeah. I'll it. Yeah, that should be enough. Yeah. Oh. How much yeah, it's really... does yours usually take? You know what? I forgot. Mine takes 4.8. So that's probably about the same since yours has a 2cc. Yeah, I'll lift. <laughs> yeah, about lift, dude. Way better than VTEC. Dude, seriously. Though. Yeah. It's not even comparable. Alright. Oh, I guess you're used to the driver's side. Yeah. So, we park next to this Celica over here. Is it a GTS? Really? Dude, I love parking next to other oh, yeah. Celicas because you can really see how much mine's lower. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you're on those freaking... They're not coilovers, are they? Yeah, there's those shocks and springs. Yeah. There you go. Cute Celica. So, we might change the engine on this someday for a 2CC. Oh, yeah, but you crashed on the air condition and, you know, that was $2,800 when you crashed on that. Yeah, they'll see the video on that soon. Oh, my gosh. Should I put it on this video? The KDX? Yeah. Oh, I don't have a video of me crashing. Oh, you just the aftermath? I just have a video in the aftermath of the KDX. Okay, well, yeah, that's gonna happen. So, we're gonna get the oil. So, there's a car with some. He's really earning that handicap space. Oh my god. Dude, boy, <laughs> you're wrecking today, aren't you? Yeah. Alright, anyways. So, I gotta do that. <laughs> what? Well, I had to come back to get the full synthetic since I grabbed the wrong one. Because especially since I'm running a turbo. So. Oh, two plate goes. Oh my god. You scared the crap out of me. Whoa, blue lights. Dude, we really gotta get this car done. Okay, It's sorry. already like 11. Two Legos. Oh my flipping god. Finally out of here. After a large line that took like 10 minutes out of our time. Probably longer. So, got the oil. Come back. We are trying to... So, what did we do? I forgot. There's a bump on my head. For oh yeah, so years. we took out the oil pan. And we got to get all that stuff off. Oh, Hopefully why is it dripping all of a sudden? Why is it dripping? 
I don't know. It just all of a sudden started. Okay, well, there you go. That's cool. And then there's the oil return. A day in the life. And then we're gonna go ahead and put that on the... We're actually gonna make this shorter, right? I think. Yeah. It's probably a good idea. And there's a turbo. Hello. What else did we do? Oh yeah, we put the intercooler on. Oh, yeah, so there you go. There's the intercooler. Some people are gonna be like, oh, it's probably not gonna flow that well, like Blaine. What? You know, I there's asked. not gonna be. I didn't say it wasn't, I just asked. Yeah, it is probably gonna get a little hotter than usual, but. That was a terrifying sound while I'm underneath the car. It's turbo, so there it is, and it's connected to the stock intake. I did route the vacuum lines of the intake uh, somewhere else so they don't see boost because that wouldn't be a good thing. Kind of like the breather hose for. Let me see the breather hose for the crankcase vent uh, the actual crankcase valve I didn't reroute it because it doesn't let air in it only lets out so it's like a one-way valve ah uh, and I think that's it huh so there's a turbo you can see right there it's probably hey I'm actually wearing a shirt this long I'm about to show my stupid stomach oh yeah we don't want to see that and also don't fart whenever I'm recording Look. Too late. Anyways, so we're gonna go ahead and clean the actual pan. You're and clean the pan. I'll clean oh the pan yeah, yeah, you're gonna he's gonna do that. Make sure it's like very clean. I know that's fine. I'm gonna keep the razor blade just in case I find anything. Okay, and what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna rinse it with a little bit of oil, so in case there's anything in there. And also, I don't want any water. I already dried it, but there might still be a little bit. So we don't really, we really don't want that. <laughs> that would be bad. So yeah, that's just a small update. So we already got the drain thing on there. You can see right there. It. Yeah, it's all nice. We got most of it out, all the little specks. Um, if there is any more, the oil filter will probably catch it. And you're planning to change it soon. Yeah, I'm also Especially planning. now that you know how to do it cheap. Yeah. So what we're going to do is get the gasket out, some more TV. What? Put the bolts on the box we're about to use. God damn it. Boy. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to put it back in the car. And then cut the actual oil return line to length. And then we should be good. Basically, after that, we have to put the oil feed right. Yeah, and that's the last thing. Yeah, and, and then... then well, oh, while I'm doing that, you can bolt up headlights. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we just need the headlights so, we, so it's yeah, technically street legal. So, well, so here's what we'll do. See these? Yeah. So we'll take these guys and we'll just lace the zip ties into them when we put the license plate here. Yeah. Just so they're kind of shining on it. Yep. So technically legal. So fuck it. Because Missouri, <laughs> Kansas is like the only state more lax than Missouri. Yep. So what the hell is this? What? What the crap? Where did this come from? What did you do, Guillermo? We'll find out later. I don't care. <laughs> um... Are Anyways, you sure you want yeah. that to be the answer. <laughs> yeah, we'll figure it's it out. It's an OEM bolt. Yeah, it's probably for one of the brackets, but remember how I, all my brackets, the old ones are gone. So, oh, it goes here. Yeah, but it's already bolted up. Anyways, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this. And yeah, after that it's another 25 minutes of cleanup. Cleanup. So, awesome. Cuz we've learned we can't run the car before we clean up otherwise it doesn't happen yes true boy all right let's do it okay. what are you gonna do oh it's a very small opening okay lit so yeah just pour so a little you. bit <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, no pressure, right? Yeah, no pressure. It's just the gasket for your oil. And your entire engine. God damn it, it's not coming out. Keep squeezing. Fuck. Oh, there you go. Uh, <sighs> this is more difficult than it looks. Roll the back, dude. Yeah, I will. Let me say. Mother. Here, you want some help? Dude, yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, 
<clears throat> I'll probably skip a lot of this. But we're just gonna do it all around and the other side. We're actually gonna stick it on the on the actual oil pan and then we're gonna do the other side. Yeah, don't let this go. Okay, so yeah after that it should be on there. I'm so happy because this was such a pain in the butt yesterday getting all that to work out. And that's the old exhaust. All of your exhaust systems. Oh yeah, another you one of the like three. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah. So yeah, that's the that's the other exhaust. It's actually a Chinese version. It was like a hundred bucks and it sounded like crap. Don't you remember man? It wasn't the worst. It wasn't too it was, bad, but it didn't to sound that great. Now, it's just trash. Yeah. And this is the actual top speed. At least it wasn't for a kid in disguise. Yeah, so shout out to them. They were in Texas. I actually yeah. bought it in house. So Dude, put a little bit more man. What the I'll hell? I'll go back. Alright, so I'm gonna put all the bolts on. Already doing an update. Yeah. Don't be quiet. Ish. Again, don't fart. So I'm doing that. So this is where the drain is. That was where the drain for the turbo. And it's gonna be weird. It's gonna look all kinked, but I'm sure it'll work. Oh, it's not damaged on the inside. No, it's not. And with the heat, it'll probably stretch itself back out. Yeah. And be so. okay. Yeah, so that's all good. And then he's working on the oil feed. Can you see it? Huh? Yeah, no, I'm just showing this braided line. Cool. Yep. So that's what's going on. Dude, putting it on is way easier than taking it off. Are you serious? Yeah. That was going to be harder. Dude, like, it's already probably halfway down. Damn. You better tie that shit, man. Uh, duh. <laughs> all right. What time is it right now? 1.40. It's time for me to go home. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, anyways. Ah, we finally got it. Well, see, I gotta stick around to start it now. Yeah. We might be able to start it like this. Where's this from? Your airbox? Yeah. So, there you go. It's on. Finally. Jesus Christ. I'm so done. We still gotta get that little elbow thing for the intake. Dude, oh, are you this? Dude, really? Put it right here. Are you serious? Right here. Well, you might need You gotta have an elbow, though. Yeah, that's, that's what this part's for. Oh. Um, I don't know. Yeah, you're right. We probably should do that right now. I'll get the hex. Okay. I'll get the hex on. So, yeah, it's 1.40 in the morning, and obviously we're all freaking tired, but that is on. And I'm super stoked and happy. It's not even funny. I thought that, that I thought we weren't gonna be able to fit it. And like, look at the tolerance on there. It's touching the actual shaft. That's what she said. But I'm actually I order a couple of 90s, so we'll be able to. Uh, actually, it might it might be able to self clear, like you know, with time. Well, yeah, it'll erode away at the first part of it. Yeah. So there you go. All fun. All fun today. It's super it well it's not really ghetto. It's it's pretty neat, but it's it's very close to being ghetto. The only thing that is not ghetto about this car is the Power FC. And that is not even tuned for the turbo right now. So there you go. I'm probably gonna wrap up later. Like all the stuff, we gotta put it away. And what else? Oh, so he's, yeah, he's doing a hacksaw. It's probably really, really low light. So, yeah. And then probably next video, we're going to install this on there. Um, yeah, we, we, we're, I'm still waiting for the boost gauge and the, let's see, the oil temp. No, not oil temp, oil pressure. That's really important on this car. If anybody knows their 1ZZs is that oil pumps sometimes can fail and... You probably want to watch on that. Anyways, yeah, we're just going to get that elbow done, and we'll try to start it today, but that's, I don't know how likely that will be. All right. Anyways. Okay, so this is the final update for the night, and actually I did get it started, but I can't start it again since, you know, cops were 
coming by and shit, so I didn't want to get in trouble, but wow, that is, there's no light. Let me see here. So, as you can see, turbo's on there, everything's good. And I checked if there was actually oil running to the engine, I mean to the engine, to the turbo. And yeah, there is, so that's, so that's really awesome. You probably can't see that, but everything worked out good. So I'm happy, so tomorrow I should be able to get out of these jack stands and uh, probably drive it around, honestly. I just need to connect this. Um, I'm gonna do that tomorrow also. <clears throat> when I turned on, it wasn't as loud as I thought it was. I thought it was gonna be, so. So that's good, that means that I'll be able to actually drive it around. I just won't be able to hit boost because I don't have the wide band. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for tonight. I'm tired as hell. My friend just left because he's gotta go to work tomorrow. But yeah, super excited to get this thing running with the turbo all plugged up plugged in yeah I'm gonna go to bed cause I'm tired of shit there we go